Hello everyone, Matthew Bodie here, back with another South African genealogy tutorial. So this video is somewhat out of the usual, it's not my standard research video, but it is still um, genealogy related and I suppose a how-to for Ancestry. This um, video isn't South African specific, anyone with an um, Ancestry.com account um, stands to hopefully gain some knowledge from this video. So the reason I'm making this video is because as of last night, I figured out a way to privatize media items on Ancestry. This is um, speaking from the point of view, if you don't have a um, family tree maker or other account that syncs with your Ancestry account already, this is just a way to um, privatize sensitive or other media items online, which you might not want publicly viewable. Personally, I'm of the opinion that documents um, I'm happy to share with genealogists, but family f photos for um, recent family members, say the great-grandparent or great-great-grandparent level, um, I'm not comfortable sharing with all and sundry, unfortunately, so I wanted to find a way to privatize that whilst still maintaining a public tree which links to um, my DNA and my other family members' DNA results. And this is how I figured out how to do that. So for the purpose of this video, I'll be dealing with my own personal ancestry account. And I also created a guest account for my father. So this is what your um, standard ancestry users who has an account um, will see. Um, so let's get into it. All right, so as I was saying, if, if you are one of the lucky people of the family and you inherited a plethora of old family photos, um, you're going to want to eventually go through and scan them and digitize them because if, say, a fire or a flood happened, um, I find that scanning is a good way to preserve them just in case the unexpected ever happens, right? Um, I'm sure that's what most genealogists would agree with scanning is quite beneficial. For this reason, um, I've decided to scan all my photos and upload them to my family tree, because as well as having a, cop a copy um, on my computer and on my hard drive, having a copy online is just another um, measure or way to keep them backed up and in the cloud, I suppose, because once on Ancestry, Ancestry is a great site for media because um, you can upload as many media items as you want. There's no limit like on other sites. Um, so it's basically just like free cloud storage in my opinion. So I, I definitely want to utilize that. But as I was saying, I don't feel completely comfortable sharing my recent family photos with strangers. So here is how to privatize, um, privatize some media items. So in order to do this, you're going to want to go into any profile on your family tree, it doesn't matter which one, um, and go add, and then it can be son, daughter, um, let's just say son for this video, and then I'm going to call this individual privatized media, and I'm going to make sure that this individual is listed as living. This is important, right? Because Ancestry will privatize any media attributed to a living individual on your family tree. So let's make sure this person is, um, this profile, sorry, is listed as living. Save. Now, some of you might say, well, this is messing up the, my family tree, and that it is, I agree. So what you're going to want to do then is go into this privatized media profile, and then go um, tools, actually, sorry, no, edit, go edit relationships, and then get rid of the father relationship and the, and the mother relationship. This will not delete this profile from your family tree, it will just detach it from the um, quote unquote parents it was previously attached to. So if you go into your um, search icon up there and just refresh, if you type in privatized media, it will still show up here. You see, just no parents attributed to it, which is fine. 
So that's great, we've created the profile we wish to um, attach our privatized media to. So now let's exit out of that. As I was saying, um, I created a guest account for my dad for the purpose of this video. So this is what your general ancestry user will see on my public family tree. They'll see my pedigree and then there's um, everyone's profile pictures, it's all fine. And then when you go into an individual's profile, so we'll go into my great grandmother here, go into the gallery, and you'll see that I've privatized the majority of her media, except one, um, one portrait over there. So, once again, I don't feel comfortable sharing photos of recent family members with strangers, so I'm going to want to go and privatize that media item. I don't mind sharing pictures of places or documents, that's fine in my opinion, just the photos I think are more precious. So this is, as I said, what a general ancestry user will see. I can't edit anything. Um, so let's go back into my account and privatize that media item. So we're just going to want to go into here, my great grandmother's profile. And go to gallery and locate that photo. So there's the photo there that I want to privatize. Open that in a new tab. And then what we're going to want to do here is go add and then under find a person just find that profile that you created so in that case this is privatized media and then what you'll see is when you go into that profile go into gallery and that media item is now attached to this living quote-unquote profile it will now be um, privatized on anybody who comes to view your um, family tree. Any say, say, yeah, know, DNA matches check out trees to work out connections and such. So if you don't want random DNA matches, which many people have thousands of, to view your family photos, they'll now be privatized when they go and view your tree. So I'll show you one sec what it will look like now on the guest account. So if we go in here and refresh. You'll notice that that um, photograph, which was once publicly viewable, is now not viewable to um, people who aren't invited to my tree that I've allowed to see living people. I, I would now have to explicitly allow certain people to see um, media for living individuals, and only then would they be able to access all of my photos. If I didn't give them that access explicitly, then they won't have access to all my photos. So this um, doesn't just work for um, photographs, it works for other sensitive media items such as divorce documents or just say for instance this um, baptismal certificate over here. Um, this certificate was shared with me by my mother's first cousin, she owns the original, it's just a scan. Um, she was okay for me to upload this online but say if she shared this document with me on the condition that I not upload it online then I will still upload it to my tree um, and just go add, add that to the privatized media profile, go back to this privatized media profile and you'll see the image is now attached to this. So um, if we go back to the guest account and gallery, that baptismal um, document is no longer available to view. So anyway, I hope that this video made sense. If you have any questions or need any clarification about anything, I'm more than happy to help. Um, just shoot me a message or comment on this video. I hope this video was of some help to you, and I hope you have a great day. Goodbye.